Right, guys. I'm getting the hang of this live thing now. But I want to talk to you about why some of you choose to suffer. You choose... Suffering over happiness without even realising. And it can be in many ways, but we're going to hit on to relationships. Wow. Why some of you guys stay in relationships that you're not happy in. Soulless. Empty. Demoralising. Why do you do that to yourselves? I mean, there's a lot of you that are with your soulmates and, you know, everything's lovely and everything resonates nice and everything's aligned. But then there's a lot of you that are with the wrong person, but you choose to stay there. You choose to be unhappy every day you choose pain why and you know what you can't even blame the other person it's something in yourself it's how much you value yourself you're only put up with what you think you deserve that's deep isn't it that's real deep. You will put up with what you think you deserve. You know that saying, soul suckers, um, people that kill your soul, whatever is true. You can, have, you can be with the wrong partner and they can drain all your energy and slowly, slowly, slowly destroy your soul soul destroyers and you're allowing it to happen we only get one life and when we leave this earth we leave our earth bodies but our souls live on our souls are eternal so the most important thing is to look after your soul first and whoever you allow to come into your life to be part of it of your vibration must look after your soul must nourish it must care for you mind soul and body now when you're with these toxic people that are just draining you draining you draining you draining you then you become less of yourself why are you doing that to yourself not all of you, but why are you doing that? You have to ask the question, why are you allowing that to happen? A lot of it is fear. Fear of the unknown. If, you, you know, if you're not with this person anymore, what your life might look like without this person and the fear of starting again, so forth, so forth. But what you're actually doing is when you're with the wrong person, you are blocking your soulmate from coming in. You always have to go with your intuition and how you feel. And if you're with someone that's making you feel unhappy on a daily basis, then that's not the person for you. Because the right person will make you feel uplifted, joyful, peaceful, content. And they should complement who you are as a person. And you, bro you, you both of you grow into your higher selves together and you bring the best out in each other. That's the right person. Arguing and negativity... It's never good for your soul, you know, or your mental health. So, if you are a person that knows this, but for some reason 
you're choosing the suffering, you have to ask yourself why. Because life is what you make it, you know. As they say, this earth is heaven and hell. It's however you want it to be, isn't it? You can live in high vibration or live in low vibration. If you live in low vibration, everything's hellish, isn't it? If you're living in high vibration, everything's lovely, joyful, peaceful, this and that. Don't get me wrong. It's not living in cloud nine and everything's always great, great, great. But what it is, when you've found that tranquility, that peace, whatever life throws at you, you can deal with it in a different way. It doesn't bring you down. Does that make sense to you? So, yeah, it's a shame. It's such a shame that a lot of you lot are, your souls are being sucked away and destroyed by, by devilish, demonic people. So, You have to really think and say to yourself, like, do you deserve to be happy? Everyone deserves to be happy. But you have to say to yourself, do you deserve to be happy? Do you deserve the right love? Do you deserve to meet your soulmate? And your, your true soulmate will only come in once you've learned life lessons. So sometimes you will be with the wrong person to learn something about yourself to learn what you do want, to learn what you don't want. So when that relationship ends, you know going forward what you're looking for and what's gonna resonate with you and what's gonna uplift you and so forth, so forth. And then you have to love yourself fully because you can't love anybody else until you love yourself. And that's fact. And once you love yourself to that full, you will not tolerate nothing. You know your worth. You, you just, it's true. Love yourself, then the right person will come in. Don't block the right person by staying with the wrong. Does that make sense to you guys? So, know your worth. Know that you're enough, because you are. Don't put up with no bullshit. You deserve to be happy. You wasn't put on this earth to suffer. We create our own suffering sometimes. We can change our life like that with our faults and our actions so yes have a lovely evening and i will be back soon this is my second live now